Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Tuesday, January 11th. We're going to do lesson nine, worms. Want to talk about worms? Want to talk about worms? Now that's a worm. <laughs> yeah, it finally warmed up. I think most all of us got acquainted with the slimy little invertebrates called worms when we were a kid. Did you know that there's 23 families of worms? 700 genii or genuses? 7,000 species? They go from little bitty to great big long ones. And they all play a very important role in the living food web. The ones that make the biggest impact in your garden would be the night crawlers and the little red wigglers. In the compost pile, the red wigglers feed on all of that decaying matter. The night crawlers, however, make burrows in the soil and pull that organic matter down into the soil. Worms improve the soil in several different ways. Worms actually promote microbiology within the soil. They derive their nutrition from the bacteria and the fungus on the rotting material, on all the rotting organic material. When they eat it and it goes through their gut, it actually multiplies the microbial life. They actually expel more microbes than they take in. The worm castings are really good for the soil. Their tunnels also provide areas for water to infiltrate and roots to grow. Now that's a worm. What they do to improve the soil, they make it loose, they let oxygen get in there, and then their castings is great fertilizer. Worms are a very important part of your garden. They don't have to be in the garden, but having worms will show you just how healthy your soil actually is. A square yard of three by three by three will hold somewhere between 50 and 300 decent sized worms. Now in a forest, it could hold up to 100 to 500 worms in the same amount. It all depends on how much decaying matter you have. And that's why you see me with the wheelbarrow all the time putting fresh leaves and grass and wood chips and hay on this garden. The worms go through it like mad. But that's okay, you see the results I get. And the one thing about planting in deep mulch and using deep mulch in your garden, that's what fertilizes your plants, the worms right there. Now I was asked the other day about adding worms to the compost pile. You can go down to your local bait shop, you can get red wigglers and night crawlers. You can add them both to your raised beds, you can add the red wigglers to your compost pile and put your night crawlers across your garden itself. Just make sure you got enough mulch on top to feed them. From what I understand, you can find worms down as deep as your roots go. It's all part of the living soil, and today we only took a short look at one of the bigger creatures in your garden. In future episodes, we'll look at some of the smaller creatures in your garden. Or at least talk about them. Now remember, your red wigglers are going to be for your compost pile, and your night crawlers are going to be for your garden proper. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes on this beautiful January evening to stop by the garden and talk about worms. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Sound like you a killer. On Instagram you hard, but you softer than a pillar. You a internet thug, a internet thug. You a internet thug, a internet thug. You a internet thug, a internet thug. When I see you, I'm a dragon. Do the book, do the book. Instagram, you're a blood. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.